All right, this is your boy Jug out with another Creations Catacombs video. All right, so today I'm gonna to be discussing how I personally get through the catacombs as quickly as humanly possible. I'm not a huge fan of the catacombs, so I really don't like to spend a whole lot of time doing it. So I'm gonna give you guys a glimpse into how I do it personally. But before I do that, I would like to introduce you guys to a friend of mine. This is my girl Creed, and she's got her own YouTube channel by the name of Disappointing Turtle. Please go to YouTube, search this name, Disappointing Turtle, or check the description below, and I will have a link to her channel. She's got a completely different outlook on the game, and I'm really excited to see what she comes out with next. So let's get back to why most of you guys are here. So today, let's talk about what I do personally to get through the catacombs as quickly as possible. So with the catacombs, you have level 15, level 25, level 35, and level 45 equipment. So at first here, I'm gonna be discussing just the first three, okay? So when I'm doing the, these first three equipments, stick on the warrior path, which is this second set of equipment here that starts at the chest piece and goes down here to the shield. All right, so while I'm going up through the catacombs, until I start getting a fair amount of level 45 equipment, I only stick to this warrior path, okay? So I'm gonna be jumping here into the talents to explain to you guys a little bit what I do there. All right, so what I'll do is I will go in here to warrior and I'll go all the way down to Warrior Recovery first, okay? And then I'm gonna jump over here to Brutal, and in the first three here, I got Brutal Health, Brutal Defense, and Brutal Attack, okay? So I'm gonna put 15 points into that, and then I'll do the same thing over here at Explosive. And once I get my 15 points in Brutal and Explosive, I'm going to continue down this warrior path. I'm going to be putting my points in to things that are going to increase the strength of my creation. Down here at the bottom, you can always go down to this reset, set your points, you know, if you're going into Kingdom Raid or Kill Event, all right? So you can always go down there and reset to get your troop health, your infantry health, and stuff like that. But in order to push your creation, you're going to want to stick strictly two abilities that are going to push your creation, okay? Focusing mostly on health and defense, okay? So those are the key, key things to getting your creation through as quickly as humanly possible. All right, so another thing you can do here is you go into your research and same thing. You click on creation. I got almost all my points here into defense and health. Don't really need to do attack and I'm gonna be getting into that here a little bit at the later parts of my video. It will help you get through a little bit faster, so it's entirely up to you guys whether you put a whole lot into attack, okay? But I would suggest going high on defense, maybe a little bit more on health than I did, but you don't have to, okay? So 7-3 is the very last stage where you're gonna be getting level 35 equipment, which you can see here, all right? And then once you start getting a little bit higher, start getting to 7.5, 7.8, 7.10, you're gonna start getting your level 45 equipment, okay? Now, once you get access to this level 45 equipment, we're gonna be switching over to explosive, okay? Which is this very last equipment that you get down here. It starts at this chest piece and ends at this little grenade, okay? And that also means that we're going to need to switch our talent points. Once you switch over to your explosive equipment, you're going to want to go down this tree here, all right? And what you're specifically going to want is this Flame of Fury. This is the only attack that you're going to need. As you start rolling down this tree a little bit, you're going to get a couple of bonuses to this attack. All right, you got your fire attack two here, and you really shouldn't even need to get further in this tree, okay? Now let's take a close look at the equipment again, okay? 
So when you're pushing this equipment, you're gonna start getting frags that are going to allow you to enhance this equipment. All right, so I'm gonna go into my items. Let's roll all the way down. Most of you guys know this stuff already. Here you can see I have a load of level 45 scroll fragments. I'm gonna go ahead and synthesize two here. Once we have all of this equipment, our main focus is gonna be this chest piece here, and it's specifically for the amount of defense that, that it gives you, okay? And the gun. And the reason we're pushing this gun is the creation burning ability, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and create one of these. And again, I'm gonna create the gun. All right, so I'm gonna go in here to enhance. And I'm just going to enhance the chest piece. And I'm going to enhance the gun. Sometimes you're going to need to spend a little bit of gold. In my personal opinion, it's worth it. You can eventually get the pieces by pushing through the catacombs. But it, it honestly takes a long time. Okay, so if you've got to use a little bit of gold, I'd suggest using it, especially if you have it. So you're really going to want to focus on these two pieces, especially, but it's not going to hurt to put a little bit into these pieces as well. I know many of you guys are wondering, why would we start on Warrior and then move over to Explosive? And the actual reason is these crests, okay? So when you're creating crests for Warrior, you're going to be creating crests for defense. You're going to be creating crests for health. You're going to be creating crests for attack. So since you were on the warrior path before, you probably had quite a bit of attack. But the nice thing about being on the explosive side is you don't need any attack at all, okay? So what you can do here is you can go to reclaim and you can take all of those attack crests and you can put them right into you know, you can put them into health, you can put them into defense, you can put them into your explosive abilities. With the crest for explosive, all you need is a lot of defense, quite a bit of health, and your creation firepower, okay? That's all you need so you can take all those crests that you use for attack with warrior and you can put them wherever you guys like okay i personally would focus mostly on defense secondary on health and last go for firepower okay and the nice thing about these crests again you can just remove them and then put them into whatever you're lacking when it comes to pushing your creation your crests are going to be far more important than your equipment or your research. I personally find that I get more crests on level four than I do on any of the levels, okay? So here is a pull from level four. I just did 10. I only got one crest. It doesn't seem like a lot, and, it's, and it isn't, but they do add up, okay? I'm gonna do the same over here, all the way on level eight. Let's see what I got left. I'm gonna plunder this 10 times. I'm gonna scroll all the way down. And you'll see, I didn't get a single crest from level eight. I got a lot of the equipment frags, but no crests. Again, level four, I find that I get a lot more drops. So once you get your equipment and you get it, you know, a few levels into your gun and a few levels into your chest piece, it doesn't hurt to go back to level four and get a few more crests. Okay, so now that you've switched over to explosive equipment, you know, you're doing your research, you've taken all those attack crests and you've put them into defense, health, or your firepower ability, we are ready to face off against one of the bosses. So once you switch over to the explosive equipment, it's gonna be a little bit more hands-on. Whereas when you're with the warrior, you only needed to recover the health, okay? So we're gonna hit this fight and we're only gonna go at one time. 
You, you, you can't go to the four times because it's going to move too fast, okay? We're going to hit this little spike looking thing that's going to give us our fire ability. And you're going to notice his health is going down quick. So the same thing's going to work when you guys get to the boss, okay? So you're going to click on this. You're going to take out the two little goons here on the sides. And then you're going to immediately go for the boss. And you're going to notice that his health is going to go down quick. All right. And there's really not much more to it. You know, just keep up with your research, especially the defense. Go as high as you can. You know, secondary go on your health. And you need absolutely no attack once you get too explosive. All right. So that's the gist of it, guys. I really hope that helps a lot of you guys get through the creation's a lot faster because if you're anything like me, it's a tedious task. Please like, subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell and drop a comment in the comment section below. Maybe you guys have a different way of doing it. This is your boy Jug out with another Creations Catacombs video. Peace.